and these are the first images that you see of the three accused in custody of the Uttar Pradesh police. Arun Maurya, son of Deepak Kumar, Sunny Purane, son of late Jagat Singh, and Lovelesh Tiwari, son of Yash Kumar Tiwari. The three are in police custody, very different from what they were looking uh, with the weapon in their hand. They have been interrogated in the past 24 hours, as you can see in these images. And the police have now uh, issued uh, uh, this, this image of the three in police custody. Lovelesh, Sunny and Arun Maurya. Well, very little is known of Arun Maurya. Uh, Sunny, according to his brother Pintu, is a good for nothing. Uh, he didn't do any work. He used to roam around with his friends. Lavlesh Tiwari, according to his father, was no longer living with the family. He is an accused in a very uh, in a case of assault. Uh, he assaulted a woman in this on his in his locality. Has spent time in jail, but currently out on bail. The three wanted to become mafia dons. I quickly want to cut across to India today's Abhishek Mishra for more on the story. Abhishek, what more have the police been able to tell you about the three shooters? said that their intention was to, you know, prove themselves a better mafia, a bigger mafia than Adik Ahmed. And the interrogation has happened. They have, uh, they have had a lot of, a couple of questions regarding their intent. And it clearly signifies that they wanted to shoot Atik and uh, uh, his brother Ashraf. And that's what exactly they did. But moreover, a lot of things will take more time for the, for the facts to get confirmed because, uh, you know, uh, the UP police, the Prayagraj police, the STF, who is already, who was already already had the, uh, uh, the remand of uh, uh, Atik Ahmed along with Ashraf. Uh, uh, but now on these uh, three uh, shooters who shot dead both of them yesterday uh, uh, in the night will uh, uh, give a lot of information. But so far only this much has been confirmed. Uh, but today uh, the more uh, focus is on the funeral of Atik Ahmed because that is something which is the high priority for the Prayagraj administration. They want to make sure that everything happens smoothly uh, uh, and as I was telling you that you know a rapid, uh, the rapid action force, uh, UP police personnel and the whole Chakya area is now converted into a place where there is strict vigilance everywhere and similarly is the picture also here at uh, the cremation ground where we are right now the graveyard, the Kasai Masai a graveyard where you can certainly see the visuals of uh, the final preparation. The area has been cleaned now. We have also seen more than, uh, you know, some top officials coming there and having a, a survey of that lo of uh, that space where the, the grave of Atik Ahmed and uh, Ashraf has been digged. So that is what we can certainly confirm. Stay with me for a moment for the benefit of our viewers who are joining us right now. I want to show you images of the three accused in police custody. That's Arun, Sunny and Lovelesh. The three shooters. The three shooters actually opened fire one after the other uh, and from virtually point blank range. Uh, the police have them in their custody. They've questioned them for the past 24 hours. But what remains more serious at this stage is to find out, one, where did they acquire the weapon from? The pistol that the three assailants had costs about 7 lakh rupees. So where did they get 21 uh, lakh rupees to acquire these three pistols? Two, what was the motive? Three, equally important, who plotted giving them a camera, a fake, a dummy camera and a dummy mic, a dummy identity card that actually got them close, uh, got them proximity to this notorious, dreaded gangster turned politician uh, Atik Ahmed and his brother Ashraf and then they opened fire. Did they plot this themselves? Did somebody from the police leak information about Atik Ahmed's movement? These are some very important questions, Abhishek, especially was information about Atik Ahmed's movement leaked to them? The fact that Atik Ahmed and his brother Ashraf were being taken uh, for recovery of weapons was known to the police. How was it known to these three that they assembled there at the hospital where the media was?
Well, absolutely, Gaurav. And with the, you know, the visuals and the kind of uh, incident which happened yesterday uh, is a very clear picture that they were very well equipped with the, these web weapons, uh, these pistols, sophisticated pistols. And at the same time, they were very well trained as well because they did not waste a single moment. They were very well prepared with their timing, with their angles and with their location. They did a proper Reiki as well because they were very well aware that uh, Atik along with Ashtra will be brought to the hospital, the uh, hospital there, and uh, they will take some time because the similar exercise has happened day before yesterday. And moreover, about the movement, because uh, you know we have been tracking his uh, movement throughout these couple of days, and we were also very uh, were not sure what the police is doing because they want on day one they uh, took them to another police station, then they brought them to the border of Koshambi, yes. and then came back and then brought them to the uh, Colville Hospital where the medical was done. But yesterday, there were some changes. Uh, they took them to a village area. They identified some weapons. They did, they did the recovery. Then they were brought back to the Dhumalgan police station and then again were carried out to the uh, Colvin Hospital where the shootout happened. So the movement, the protocol, the, all these itinerary and what the police is going to do is all very, uh, you know, uh, uh, only with the team. Nobody can uh, get the access to that information. So this shows that they have been following it. They were very well aware that something of this sort is actually a one of part of the procedure. Uh, they were very sure that both of them will be taken to the hospital yes. for the medical test, and that was the opportunity for them. And they conspired. Is that clarity on the weapon? Pretended as if the parents fake IDs, fake mics, and fake cameras, which were used.